Good Tuesday to Tennessee Valley coming to you right before 7.30. I wanted to give you an update on the, of course, the weather for today and what's coming as we move into your weekend because the next big story is going to be the severe weather and you're going to hear about it uh, pretty much every day from us and you'll see it all over social media as well. Uh, so just wanted to keep you updated on that. But temperatures are going to warm up. Some areas close to freezing this morning. Later this afternoon, mid 70s to even upper 70s here across the Tennessee Valley, topping out around 78 in Chattanooga. So you really can't beat that above normal for this time of the year. It's also going to be a bit on the breezy side. We'll have gusts picking up this afternoon and evening, maybe 20, 25 miles per hour, low relative humidity, gusty winds, once again, a high fire danger. Again, we're still dealing with this drought. So don't be surprised if you hear a few local burn bans in some of your communities, especially across North Georgia where those special weather statements are. Uh, you might just want to hold off on the burning. Probably a good idea because we have had quite a few wildfires across the southeast over the last couple of weeks and even across parts of uh, New England as well. So let's just uh, be safe today and enjoy the weather because it is going to be nice. But uh, again, the next big thing is going to be the potential for some weekend storms, severe weather, strong winds, heavy rain, all on the table, especially as we get into your Saturday. So as we track it all out, again, this is uh, the American model, uh, not high resolution, uh, but it does give us an idea of the general timing. The Europeans pretty on par with this too. So I'm just going to show you one model. So I don't want to overload you. It'll give us an idea of the general timing. We're still five days out from the event, so yes, things will change. But we'll pick this up Thursday because today and tomorrow are going to be warm, sunny, no issues through Wednesday. few showers on Thursday. I don't think we're going to have any severe weather here. Not going to be a washout, but just prepare for a couple of showers here and there on Thursday, especially during the afternoon and evening. Going into Friday, again, you can see your time stamp there on the top. Probably going to be quite a bit of cloud cover. Can't rule out a few spotty showers. Again, don't expect any active weather. But if we zoom out, uh, notice as we get into Friday, there's going to be a couple storms starting to fire up, especially Friday night along the Mississippi River Valley. Uh, so we'll watch that pretty closely. But Saturday is the day I'm watching. Could have a few showers early on. Now, if we get some heavier rain Saturday morning, that could help us out with the severe weather. Could limit that threat because we'll get the air to kind of stabilize a little bit more. If that doesn't happen and we get a little bit of sunshine peeking through, that'll add fuel to the fire, so to speak. We'll get more instability and thus uh, potentially a higher severe risk as we get into Saturday. But nonetheless, there's going to be that threat. Uh, there's factors that could come together that could lessen the threat. Of course, the rain in the morning would be one of those. But as we get into Saturday afternoon, I think we could have a couple waves of severe weather with this system, not just with the main cold front. First wave likely coming during the afternoon. We could have a few stronger storms firing up ahead of the main system. Again, the main system is going to be a cold front that's going to be dragging across the Tennessee Valley. Notice about 4, 4 o'clock on Saturday, we have some pretty good storms firing up across Middle Tennessee. And then the front really starts to materialize. You'll notice the, the line of storms starting to form late Saturday evening. So the radar are going to start to light up to our west. And this is going to start moving into our area probably about 8, 9 o'clock from west to east. Will the timing of this change? Yes, but it gives us a good window of what to expect. And then continuing into the overnight Saturday and early Sunday morning, this line moves from west to east. And by Sunday morning as we're waking up and the sun's coming up, most of this should be done. I think we'll still have a few lingering showers. But again, this gives us the general timing. So couple strong to severe storms Saturday afternoon, probably between about 3 and 7. Main line comes through after 8 or 9 and continues into early Sunday morning, likely tapering off around 4 a.m. We'll get a better idea of the exact window in the coming days. Keep in mind, this is still five days out, uh, but going to be a strong system nonetheless. So look at this. This is the surface chart, valid Saturday morning, right around 7-ish o'clock. That low pressure is going to be sitting over Minnesota, essentially, as a 978 millibar low pressure. For reference, category 1, High end category one, low end category two storm typically have pressure about that low. So uh, this is going to be a very strong low pressure over land. And this is all going to be moving into the Great Lakes region. And that's going to drag a cold front across the Tennessee Valley. We're also going to have another surface low across the southeast. So there's going to be a ton of wind energy because the pressure gradient with this is going to be so tight. When you have a tight pressure gradient with these strong March systems, 
you get strong winds and big wind events. And that's what we're going to have across the eastern and central half of the country as this starts to come together. So going to be a strong system, a lot of wind energy. This is Friday. I'm going to actually take this off because that's showing Sunday as well. So Friday, and even Friday, we have some of our western communities highlighted. So we'll have to watch late Friday into Saturday for maybe a few storms trying to get into our western areas. I think most of the activity does stay out until Saturday, but the highest risk can be across St. Louis, Little Rock, where you have that level three out of five risk in the orange, level two out of five risk in the yellow. And that includes areas all the way as far north as almost Minneapolis. So this is gonna be a pretty wide area of severe potential Friday as the system really gets going. Saturday, that transitions into parts of the Deep South and Ohio Valley. And our entire coverage area, every county that we cover, is in that enhanced level three out of five risk. So that's increased from yesterday. So confidence of severe weather is increasing here across the Tennessee Valley, all the way down to the Gulf Coast, up through Ohio and parts of uh, Pennsylvania. So once again, there's gonna be a pretty big warm sector with this, which means a severe threat could loft as high as parts of Ohio and Pennsylvania. That highest risk on Saturday afternoon through Saturday night, gonna be from the Florida Panhandle, Southeast Tennessee, North Georgia, Northeast Alabama, and even the tip of Western North Carolina, uh, pretty much the entire state of Alabama down to Atlanta, Jackson. So pretty broad risk, again, just like a winter weather event, things have to come together perfectly to get tornadoes and a severe weather outbreak, uh, a significant severe weather outbreak. We hope that doesn't happen. Uh, we're not going to have uh, a ton of storm fuel at the surface. This is your surface cape values, but uh, there is going to be some starting to... Actually, this has increased quite a bit from yesterday, especially during the afternoon and evening. So we're going to get a lot of that energy coming out of the Gulf as the system really starts to fire off during the afternoon and evening. That's why I think we could have some severe storms ahead of the main front. And then as the front comes through, the instability weakens a little bit as we get the, the nighttime coming in and we don't have as much of that daytime heating. But we're going to have a lot of wind energy with the low level jet and the jet stream being pretty strong. And then that fires back up on Sunday as the system moves out into the Carolinas. So again, strong low level jet here, going to ramp up. Again, you can see your timestamp late Saturday. That's going to help to enhance some of the storms. We could have gust, and again, this is at the 850 millibar level, which is about uh, two, 3,000 foot above what we're dealing with, but that often translates to that line of storms and it gives us stronger winds at the surface. So that's going to ramp up late Saturday as the main front comes through. We'll also have those strong gradient winds and then put into the Carolinas as we get into uh, Sunday. So for us, we're going to have pretty much all modes of severe weather possible. Uh, medium threat for flooding with just a couple inches possible in a short amount of time. Large hail, I don't think it's going to be a huge issue. I'm putting the high wind threat up to the high level for now because we're going to have strong gradient winds plus the chance for thunderstorm uh, strong winds as well, maybe some straight line winds. So tornado threat low for now, but we'll have to watch that pretty closely. It's not zero and it's certainly higher than the last system we had. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely. And again, those gradient winds are going to pick up. Those are your non-severe or your non-thunderstorm winds, potentially gusting over 50 miles per hour as the front comes through late Saturday into early Sunday, which will likely lead to some power outages, relaxing a little bit by Sunday afternoon. So we're going to have a little bit of everything with the system. Severe potential, heavy rain up to two to three inches, and strong non-thunderstorm winds upwards of 50 miles per hour. So just uh, a lot of things on the table one of those days where you want to have multiple ways of receiving alerts again this forecast can still change so hopefully the severe threat starts to trend down a little bit but right now it's just uh, our job to keep you informed of what could happen we always hope these severe events bust i do at least because no one wants to deal with severe weather i don't want tornadoes in our area because that affects you that affects our viewers and it could affect my family uh uh, my co-workers family friends family and of course anyone who lives in the tennessee valley so I, I just encourage you to pay close attention to the forecast as we get closer to time saturday have that severe weather plan ready to go if you get a tornado warning know what to do make sure your family knows what to do uh, if you live in a mobile home or a home with a weak foundation 
uh, have a safe place that you can go Saturday. I know we have some storm shelters across the Tennessee Valley, especially in our Alabama communities. Uh, so, uh, of course, we'll put that information together for you. We just want everyone to be aware and safe because we are getting into severe weather season. This isn't uncommon. Uh, I, I don't anticipate this being a super outbreak or, or anything like that, but there certainly could be several tornadoes, some strong across the southeast as we move into Friday and Saturday. There's going to be ingredients favorable for that. Um, it's hard to say exactly where, but we'll get a better idea as we move forward. So we will be in alert mode on Saturday um, afternoon, Saturday night, going to be that window even into early Sunday morning. And then as we move into next week, we'll get the sunshine back. So we're kind of in, in, in between a transitional period of weather. We're going to have some sunshine, storms, more sunshine. So kind of a storm sandwich here across the Tennessee Valley. But again, as things change and we get more information, I'll let you know. I'll give you an update every morning this week. So stay safe. Enjoy the weather ahead of all the bad weather this weekend because we have plenty of sunshine and very warm temperatures today and tomorrow before a few showers move in uh, to the picture on Thursday.